a previous uh, chapter what did we learn in the previous uh, two chapters so we were studying about uh, the charges right guys yes so in the previous two chapter what did we study studied that uh, charge was uh, at rest and uh, so we studied that charge was at rest and then we studied the properties associated with that so we studied about uh, electric force heat energy potential and uh, etc right so in the previous uh, chapters we study about uh, but what happens when the charge starts to flow right so in this chapter and in the subsequent chapter we'll study about uh, the properties associated with the flowing charge okay am i audible uh, clearly guys yes am i audible uh, guys yes sir okay so in this uh, chapter we will study about of uh, charge okay so the first uh, topic okay so the first topic uh, or first property which is associated with the flow of charge is uh, current electric current right so it is the flow of charge per unit current right so for uh, cd current cd current i is a uh, qubit and uh, steady meaning that uh, this charge is not uh, changed okay so if uh, yeah Yes, uh, Saad, Assalamu Alaikum. So again, you're late, 15 minutes. Yes. Yes. Uh, hello, Saad. Assalamu Alaikum. Can you hear me? Am I audible uh, to you, Saad? Maybe, yeah, can you, can you say something, sir? Okay, so we will go to the chat box. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we just uh, started, right? And uh, I was, uh, I was just uh, discussing that in the previous two chapter, we studied about the charges, uh, which was at rest. Then we studied the properties that were associated with that uh, chart. So, so the properties were electric force, field, energy, potential, and etc. So these were the properties that were associated with the stressed charge. Now, uh, what happens is that uh, now we will study about the properties when the charges are moving, right? So the first property is this electric current. Okay. So it is uh, the flow of charge per unit time. Right, and uh, this, so let's say that uh, this uh, charge of two electron is moving, uh, right? And in here also this charge of two electron is moving. So you see that these charges are same, right? Okay, so when same charges are flowing in uh, all the time, so that would be called as TT current. Right. 
and uh, when uh, some amount of charge is changing right so when we calculate the uh, rate of uh, so when we have a non steady current right let's say that uh, we have uh, some some conductor right so some cylindrical uh, wire and the charge is flowing through that so let's say that this amount of change of charges uh, this small amount of charge is flowing through the ether, right? So for non-steady current, uh, we calculate the average current, okay? So average current is uh, what? This is the uh, rate of flow of charges, okay? So this is uh, the average current. And uh, then uh, we have, when we calculate, so then uh, we calculate the amount of current at a particular instant, right? So when we calculate the current at a particular instant, then that uh, would be called uh, the instantaneous current. So, yeah. Genius, uh, kind. So this is how much dQ by dt. Okay. So this is uh, about uh, the definition of electric current. And uh, what is uh, this? It is a scalar quantity. Right, and uh, its uh, SI unit is uh, what? Its SI unit is M, right, which is uh, denoted by A or AMP. So this is about uh, the current, right? We, we all, we all, we will also uh, talk about the direction of current, but uh, for the time being, let us uh, let us uh, discuss uh, these points. So this is about uh, the electric current. Any any uh, question, guys? Yeah. No. Okay. So let's say that uh, let's say that we have a charge which is uh, which is dependent upon time like uh, this. Square plus uh, plus five. So this is how the charge is uh, dependent upon it. Right, so this is how the charge is uh, changing. Okay, now uh, there can be two questions uh, asked based on this. So one would be that uh, calculate current, right? So you see that this is not a constant charge. So the charge is uh, varying with the time, right? So for this case, this is not a not a steady current, right? Steady current. So this would be a non-steady current, right? And for non-steady current, we have two types of current. One is the average current, and the other one is the instantaneous current. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So. And we also know that uh, you already know about this delta, right? So delta is uh, what? Delta is change in a uh, charge, right? So this would be Q final minus Q initial divided by T final minus T. So you guys have already learned. Yeah, so you see that uh, it is uh, varying with time, right? This charge is varying with time. It is not constant. Uh, at every time, right? Just like uh, the uh, uniform speed, uniform speed, in uniform speed, your distance is not changing with time, right? So then that particular, you have equal uh, change in uh, distance in equal interval of time. So that, for that case, for that case, uh, that is called the uniform uh, speed, right? And uh, in this uh, case, uh, similarly for this case, 
when you have a non uh, so for 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 the case of non uniform speed right you have unequal unequal change of distance in equal interval of time so similarly in this case you have unequal change in charges right when this charge is not uh, it is not uh, same for different interval of time then that would be called a non steady current so is that a clear to you uh, Sorry. Yeah. So when the variation is uh, not the same. Okay. So for non-steady uh, for non-steady current, we have uh, two types of uh, current: average and the instant. Just uh, like the uh, chapter second of your eleventh uh, class, uniform speed and non-uniform speed, right? So for non-uniform speed, you have two kinds of uh, speed: average speed and instant kinetic speed. So similarly, we have steady current and non-steady current. So for non-steady current, we have two kinds of uh, electric current. One is the uh, one is the average current, right? And the other one is the instant. Current. So if somebody asks you that, uh, what is the current? throughout the journey so then we talk about uh, throughout it uh, throughout the time right so then we talk about the average uh, current and when uh, when they talk about the current at a specific time so that would be what when they ask you about the current at a specific time so that would be average or instant key. instant instant Right, so this is the difference between the instant kinetic and average current. So calculate uh, the current from zero to five seconds. Right, and uh, the second question would be that calculate current at uh, four seconds. Right. So in this case, uh, what we will calculate, Maria, instantaneous or the average current? Yeah. So what we will calculate? Maria, uh, what we will calculate for this case? case? So you see that we are talking about zero to five seconds. So we are talking about some time uh, interval. In some time interval, we are calculating the current. So what kind of current that would be? Instantaneous or the uh, average current? What kind of current that? Average. Average. Okay, so Saad has said average. Mariam, you are saying instantaneous. What is your answer? Uh, Aisha. Oh. Average, right? So the current would be average current. Because we are talking about uh, some uh, time interval, zero to five seconds. Right? We are not calculating the current at particular time. Okay. Now, and uh, this is uh, the instantaneous current. So now let us uh, calculate uh, the average current, right? So from zero to five seconds. So what is uh, the initial time? Zero second, right? And corresponding to initial time, you will have uh, Q initial, right? So let me write uh, this as Ti, which is the Q initial, which is how much? Uh, zero square plus four into zero plus five. So this is five amps. Okay, so let me write it as uh, four times And then we have this uh, final time. So final time is how much? Five seconds. So Q final would be this. So this is a three five square plus four five plus five. So 
25 is 75 20 plus 5 so 100 m right so this is the not 100 m itself it's the only charge right long okay and uh, then the average current would be how much so this would be delta q by delta Yes, uh, sorry guys, I, I got a uh, bit. Yeah, so I was uh, talking about the average current. Yeah, so any doubt uh, in this? Uh, any doubt? Okay, hello, I'm an audible guy. Hello, I'm an audible guy. Yes, okay, sorry about that. Here's the connection. So, understood up to this point. Yes, understood. Yes. Okay, so please uh, note down from start, right? Uh, this you also didn't note it down, so please. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, yeah, and whenever you guys uh, need me to scroll down the.
Yeah, noted up to this point. Noted, guys. No, sir. Okay, okay. Then, uh, whenever you have put it down, Aisha has uh, put it. Uh, Mariam is uh, also noting, so you guys please put it down and then. Uh, Which is not that much high, but it's very. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. No, no, sir. Oh, no, not us. So where should I put this? This is okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, noted up to this point. No, sir. Oh. Yeah, please. Sir, yes, uh, done, done. Okay, so the second uh, got it. Okay, Mariam got it. What is happening with everybody? Uh, so we have uh, second question, which is about uh, the instant it is correct. So Q is uh, how much? Q is uh, 3T square plus 4T. 
plus 5. And uh, then we have, uh, yeah. So then I would be how much? I is 15, yes. This would be DQ by DT. So this would be how much? You guys tell me the answer. What would be DQ by DT? So what is uh, D by DT or DT squared? Would be by you guys uh, tell me the answer. Okay. Yes, Aisha and uh, Sam. Yes, uh, what did you guys uh, do? Yes, anybody got the answer? Saad? Aisha? Yes, uh, guys. One, two, get me. Okay, Yeah, and uh, only Aisha appeared for the previous test. What about you, Saad? So why didn't you take the test? Yes. Sir, I was outside. Oh, okay. outside. Please, uh, please be a good test. Right, and uh, yeah, Aisha, I want to discuss the uh, so the question like yeah, about that. Okay, what did you guys get? So yeah, let me see. This is a six C plus four, right? So T by D T of three T square. Plus uh, 4t plus 5 would be how much? d 3t squared by dt plus d by dt 4t plus d 5 by dt. This is constant, so 0, this is 4 outside, and dt by dt is 1. 3 outside, t squared is uh, 2t. So 6t plus 4. Right, so this would be. 60 plus 0 plus 1. How did you get uh, 0? Yes, I should. So this is the answer, right? My M is yeah, so this would be the answer, right, guys? Please, uh, Aisha, please uh, check your answer, and Saad, you also check your answer. Okay, and uh, Mariam, so due to some network issues, uh, we also didn't go that much ahead. So, yeah. So, so then uh, we want to calculate uh, the current at uh, four seconds, I guess. So this would be. 6 into 4 plus 4. So 24 plus 4, which is uh, 28. So this would be the instantaneous current aspect. You guys uh, quickly note uh, this down and then we'll talk about the direction of the current. Yes, uh, noted, uh, guys. No, sir. Oh. Yeah. Is there any guys have any questions?
Mariam and uh, Saad. Oh, yeah, you guys are uh, not it down and then. Uh, yes, yes, Mariam. So we didn't uh, do that much. We only did the second part of this question. So then, sir. Yes, Maria, noted. Yeah, whenever you have noted, Maria. Okay, so now uh, let us uh, talk about uh, the direction of the curve. So remember that uh, this is uh, not this is not a vector quantity; it is a scalar quantity. But uh, we are only talking about in which way the current is right. So we have uh, yeah we have two types of current. So direction. Of, uh, so one is uh, the conventional current, right? Conventional current uh, meaning the charges which flow in the conductor and yeah, metals and all these kinds of wires, right? So these are called uh, the conventional. And then we have okay, so start you are joining with this new device. Yeah, and uh, then uh, we have uh, the electronic current. So the charges which for which goes in the electronic device, right? So then, what are yeah? So for the conventional current, for the conventional current. The direction of uh, the current is uh, opposite the direction of uh, electron uh, direction of motion of electron. Right, so if electron is uh, moving in this way, so the direction of current would be in this way. Okay, and uh, if electron is moving in this way, so the direction of uh, current would be this way. Understood that, so this is uh, the Direction of the uh, current. Direction of the current. Understood, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, if uh, the current all, always flows from the higher potential to the lower potential, so if this is uh, some say right, so the direction of the current is this. Way. Okay. So it goes from the higher potential to the lower potential. And then we have uh, the electronic current. So for uh, electronic current, the direction of uh, Direction of uh, electronic current is uh, same as the direction of electrons. Okay. 
okay so if uh, electron is uh, moving in this way so the current which is uh, electronic will move in this way understood and if the current uh, electron is moving in this way then the direction of the current would be this way. this is the electronic uh, current understood so please uh, note it down this was about the direction remember that uh, this is a scalar point not a vector point but we are talking about the flow in which uh, the charge is on so please uh, note it down and uh, yeah and then i will talk about yeah. So whenever you guys have a lot of talk, keep that. Okay, so I am saying that uh, for the case of the conventional current, right? So if you have uh, the electrons moving in some direction, right? So you have a conductor, right? And uh, electron is uh, moving in some direction. So the direction of the current would be in the opposite direction. So let's say that uh, you have uh, some field amp, right? And the electron is moving from here to there. So the direction of the current would be in this direction. So we have the conductor and the electron is moving in this uh, conductor. Okay. So if this is uh, this is the motion of the electron, then the current would be in this direction. Understood. And for the electronic current, for the electronic current, uh, if this is the direction of the uh, electrons, so this would be the same as the direction of the electronic. Understood. This is uh, what I am saying. Yeah. So, in this way, the electrons are moving from this way, but uh, the current is moving. Okay, noted, uh, everybody. Yes, sir. Now the another topic is uh, the drift velocity. Right. So let's imagine that, uh, that you guys are some very fast, right? And you are going very fast, and then you have a very sharp turn. So then what you do is that you just apply some brakes and try to avoid uh, the sharp turn, right? And then you go smoothly. You take uh, so you do some drifting and then you go for car, right? So that is uh, the same way the electrons uh, drift in the flow of uh, the conductor, right? So in some conductor, the charges are flowing, right? And then you have uh, so many electrons, right? So the electrons are colliding with each other, right? And they are so after the collision, they have they have some relaxation time. So the the uh, the electron are so after the collision or in the between the collision, they have some time, right? And in that uh, time, they they have some velocity. 
so they drift in that uh, velocity and that is called uh, the drift velocity so we'll talk about uh, numerically how can we explain this uh, drift velocity so yeah just imagine that that you are in a race and you are just avoiding the shaft run. so that is uh, what uh, this drift velocity is about so you have uh, this electron it is colliding here and there and it is moving in this field right so this would be called the drift velocity and how can we explain this so let's say that you have a conductor right a conductor have conductor have free electrons right so when it is not uh, connected to some uh, cell or it is not connected to some or when it has not some electric field okay when it has not some electric field then these electrons are moving randomly so this one this one this one this one this one this one so electrons are moving at uh, random right and uh, the average so let's say that uh, they have uh, q1 u2 right q3 these uh, velocity okay so you see that if i take the average of these velocity what will happen what will happen that uh, this will sum up to zero right these will all cancel out each other so i will get the velocity average which would be c right so this is uh, how much this is uh, q1 q2 that's uh, it's really q n divided by total number of uh, electrons so this would be right because these are cancelling out each other but if i have so this is without the presence of electric field okay now what i what i do is that i apply some electric field so i connect it uh, with some battery right so then i have this uh, positive and then this uh, negative okay so then this uh, these charges uh, with, right so then i have uh, i have let's say that uh, delta q charges uh, which is uh, okay so i have this length right and uh, let's say that uh, the velocity or i will talk about the velocity later but i have this electric field right and i have a uh, negative charges so force would be in this direction okay so force uh, would be how much let's say on one charge force would be how much yes force uh, let's say this is a uh, distance force would be how much force would be how much uh, guys so when you have q yeah minus of q is how much electron is moving right is that uh, correct yes sir. so let's say that uh, this force is uh, let's say m okay so this would be because uh, the mass of the electron is m so this would be minus Right, so A would be how much? This would be minus by. Let me write it as it. So this is uh, the acceleration of the electron at time. Okay. So in this uh, electric field, now this will uh, these charges will move, right. So if this charge, these charges. Move. Okay. Now it, this will have a proper direction. this will obviously this will have a collision but uh, this will also have some proper direction to move right understood yes. so yeah so this electric field is uniform right this electric field is uniform this uh, charge is fixed and this mass is fixed so what kind of acceleration will i have 
what kind of acceleration would I have? Yes. So this is a constant electric field is uniform. This is constant. This is constant. So A would be how much? Uniform. Yes, uh, sir. Why question mark? Uniform. So accel acceleration is uniform. So then uh, what would be my final velocity? Final velocity would be how much? So this would be this is in presence of electricity. Okay. So V1 would be U1 plus A. Am I correct, guys? Yes. Am I correct? Yes, sir. So V1 would be simply U1 minus of V by M. Now let's say that the, these are taking T1 time, right? So let's say T. So this is uh, my final velocity for one electron. And I have uh, different electrons. Right. So I have, uh, let's say, V2, which is uh, U2 minus, uh, okay, V joint minus M, T2, and then similarly Vn, which is uh, Un minus by M and T. Uh, okay. Now what I take, what I do is that I take the average of uh, these uh, velocities. Right. So the average would be how much? This would be P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus uh, N divided by, okay. So this would be how much? This would be U1 plus uh, minus e T1. Minus uh, E B by M T one plus Q uh, two minus T by M T two and uh, so on. Right, divided by. Okay, so this uh, would be how much? So then uh, V average. Would be how much? This would be U1 uh, plus uh, U2. So I take U1 separately and uh, U1, U2, and all other terms separately. So that's Un divided by N minus of E E by M, I take common, and this is T1 plus T2 plus T3 plus Tn by N. Understood. So this is how much, guys? This is how much? Zero. zero. So this part is uh, zero. So then, and uh, this part is uh, called, uh, let's, uh, let me denote uh, this as down. Okay. So then V average uh, would be how much? If we want to write it right, so this would be minus E E by M and uh, down. Okay. And if I take the mod, so this would be average minus by M. Here this uh, tau is what? Tau is called uh, the relaxation time. So what is uh, the relaxation time? So I have this uh, electron and this is uh, moving in some electric field, right? So this is uh, always uh, colliding and then it means in between the collision, you have some relaxation time. So the time between the successive collisions it's called uh, the average time between the two uh, the successive positions. So that is called the average time. So this is uh, what we call 
the drift velocity. Okay, so you see that electrons is like uh, drifting in the presence of uh, this uh, in the presence of this electron. So they are colliding, and in between, in between the collision, they are drifting to the opposite direction. So is this uh, clear to you guys? Yeah. Is this uh, clear to you guys? Yes, sir. Okay, so the definition of drift velocity. The average velocity of uh, electrons to or uh, in uh, the presence of uh, electric field in some relaxation so, okay so this is the average uh, velocity of the and uh, yeah, relaxation time I talked about. So relaxation time is uh, where relaxation time is the average time between the successive Okay, so if you guys have any doubt, you ask me or you guys, uh, oh, what happens? Why? So you guys, uh, please uh, note it down. So any doubt in the drift velocity, guys? Any doubt? No, sir. Please uh, note it down. Is this uh, okay, guys? Yes.
Yes, uh, whenever you guys have to it down on. So, yeah, whenever you guys have uh, completed, we uh, want to complete up to Ohm's law and uh, let's see if I can do the Ohm's law and microscopic form. How far we can. Yeah. Okay, so Yes, completed, guys. Okay, Saad, completed. Okay, so now we have a relation between current. Right and uh, drift uh, velocity. Okay, so we have a conductor and uh, we have some uh, delta Q charges, right? So we have some delta Q charges. And uh, this is uh, the yeah. okay. So and uh, yeah, so it has uh, the charges are moving right with uh, velocity v t. Okay, in time delta t. So what would be this uh, velocity? This would be distance upon this guy. Right, so L is how much? L is uh, Vt delta T. Is that uh, clear, guys? And uh, this area is how much? So this area is uh, A. Okay, so how many number of, uh, total number of uh, charges or electrons are moving in this uh, surface area? So let us calculate uh, the total number of charges total number of charges but uh, before that first uh, let us calculate what is the volume right what is uh, this total volume so volume is uh, how much this is area into man this length right Correct, guys. So this would be A into VD delta T. 
okay and uh, then we have uh, the number density not uh, this n so what would be the total electron or total number this would be n into volume is that uh, correct understood yes uh, guys uh, understood yes uh, guys yes sir. okay so okay now we already know that what is volume so volume is a and uh, bt and uh, delta t okay so now uh, let us uh, calculate now let us calculate what is uh, the total charge so total charge is n into e. so this would be how much n a v d delta t into e so let us uh, write it in this way n e a v d and uh, delta t and if i take this delta t in this side so this would be delta q by delta t which is uh, n e a so what would be my current so current uh, would be n e a is this uh, clear to you guys yes understood okay yeah so let's say that uh, i have i have this delta q charge which is flowing through this area right so this is flowing through this and coming here okay so now uh, what is my total volume total volume would be this area into my this length right so this is a cylinder and uh, what is the volume of the cylinder pi r square into or area into height so height of the cylinder is total length l okay and uh, area is a right so the volume would be area into this length and this length we have calculated so this is uh, speed into time right so this is uh, vd into delta t so the volume is a vd delta t is this part uh, clear actually yes now we have number density number density right so number density would be how much this would be total number of electrons per unit volume density meaning volume right so this is the number density n and if i calculate uh, the total number so this would be how much this would be number density into volume understood so then i place the value of volume right and then uh, i so this is uh, my n and i calculated uh, the total number of uh, electrons right so what would be my total charge total charge is n into e right quantization of charge so q is uh, n e. so i just put the value of n and then i get uh, this so i take this delta t in the left hand side and uh, then i get uh, delta q by delta t which is current so this would be any is there is this uh, clear to you ashish and everyone yes clear yes sir okay so please uh, note it down so this is the relation between the current and the drift velocity so please uh, note it down and then we will do the next part so how much time do i have okay i have 10 minutes 
I guess, uh, yeah, oh, I will uh, do the PhD. At least I can do the Burns Law part. Yeah, so we have an assessment today. Okay. So, yes, uh, Maria, we have an assessment, and that assessment is on drift velocity and electric current. Right. So, this you guys have learned drift velocity and electric current. So, you guys uh, know about that. So, the, yeah, the assessment would be on that topic. Yeah, noted up to this point. Yes. One moment, guys. Yes, uh, yeah, noted, uh, everybody. Yes. Sir. Okay. So now uh, let us uh, study about the ohms. So what uh, ohm did right? So ohm uh, chose a material, and he. Uh, uh, so he plotted the variation of the potential and electric current. So you found out that uh, the variation of uh, this voltage with this current is linear. So it follows a straight line, right? So if, uh, so V is uh, directly proportional to I, right? And uh, this, if I remove this uh, proportionality, so then I get some positive. So this is uh, called resistance. resistance. Okay. So at a, at a constant uh, temperature and pressure, the uh, the potential is uh, linear to the electric current, right? So this R, which is a slope of uh, this curve, slope of uh, the I curve, right? Slope of curve, which is V by I. Okay, so this would be, and this, so what is the statement that at uh, constant, Temperature, temperature and uh, pressure, the potential is uh, directly, directly proportional. Okay, so this is uh, the Ohm's law. Who got uh, this connection? Everybody is there, right? So on the basis of uh, this uh, this concept, we have two kinds of material. Yeah. Yes, uh, Maria. 
Do you have any question? Yes, so you raised hand, uh, my dear. Right, so do you have any question? Okay, I got uh, disconnected again. So what is that? Yes, guys, uh, please. Uh, Yes, uh, noted, guys. Noted, everybody. Okay, Saad and Maria, noted. Yes, sir. So now we have uh, two kinds of uh, material, right? One is uh, ohmic, right? Ohmic uh, meaning, uh, and the other one is uh, non. Right. Ohmic uh, material means that it follows, as the name suggests, ohms law. Right, and this, so it uh, does not follow. Which means that it has a graph, which is uh, like this. Okay, and uh, the example are conductors. Okay, and uh, metal cells. And uh, for the case of uh, the non ohmic material, it uh, doesn't follow the straight line graph, right? So, and uh, the examples are uh, diodes and uh, transistors. So, this, these are the examples of uh, ohmic and the non ohmic. You guys uh, quickly note it down. And uh, okay, so how much time do I have? I have again four minutes. But it would be quick uh, to, yeah, let's see that if I can. Uh, So after this class, we'll have a class assessment test. So you guys, uh, we will uh, create some uh, another room, right? So you guys, you guys, please 
join in that uh, join in that link turn in your account and uh, take the test and uh, be in that so after the test is completed you guys uh, can Okay, noted uh, as well. Yes, noted. Mariam, noted. Now uh, we will learn about the microscopic uh, form of what is uh, the microscopic form of something. We already know that uh, if this is positive, higher potential in the and the current is uh, flowing in this way. Okay. So, what happens is that uh, we already know that what is the value of that. So, this is N A B. Right. And uh, we also know that how much is B. So, this is uh, B E tau by this we also know. Okay. And uh, what else uh, do we know? So this is I, right? And this is A. So if I take I and A is this side, so this would be how much? This is I and uh, this is A. This is N E B. Okay, I by A is. Uh, so you see that uh, what is uh, what is Q by A? What is Q by A? Can you guys uh, tell me? We have uh, so, so many times uh, we have used this. We have uh, used this concept so many times. What is Q by A? Yes. Sigma. Yes, Maria. Surface charge density. So surface charge density is Q by A. Similarly, this would be what? This would be current uh, density. So this is uh, current uh, density. Right, and this is denoted by J. So J is uh, N E V T. Okay, and uh, we also uh, V D is uh, E V by N. Okay. So, okay, Rifa has joined. So, you guys, uh, please join join into. I will talk about uh, this in the next class. So, I wanted to complete this, but uh, what can? Yeah, we'll, uh, I will talk about uh, this later. I will talk about uh, this uh, later. Okay, guys. Yeah, so you guys uh, please uh, uh, log into your learning view account, uh, open the class assessment section, and then we'll find the active test. So please take that test, and I will talk about this microscopic form of Ohm's law and uh, and uh, the next topic. Is Hello, Rifa. Hello, Rifa. Assalamualaikum. Yeah, hello, Rifa. Am I audible to you? And Aisha and Mariam. So I will talk about uh, this again. So no need to note it down. I will explain it again. Okay. So oh, I will see. explain it again. Yeah, I will explain it again. So no need to think about it. So I will explain. And uh, you guys just uh, yeah go into your learning account and then yeah and then take the active test. 
So let me ask. Uh, so I don't find any application. Yeah. Yeah, can you check again? Yeah, she's saying that uh, we can see that. I found it so. Okay, Mariam, did you? Yeah, so, okay. And you guys, let me talk to the Lord your team that, so that they can make some uh, another, right, waiting room and you guys join that uh, waiting room. Yeah, okay, Mariam. Good, so all the best, Aisha and Mariam, you guys take that test. And let me talk to the joining meeting so that we can see. Yes, Rifa, can you hear me? Um, hello. Yes, hello, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Yes. Welcome. First answer has no option. How is that possible? Okay, so you try to take uh, that uh, test, Mariam, and whatever uh, problem you are facing, I will talk about. Okay, in the next class, I will talk about that. Yes, uh, Ripa. Uh, yeah. So, how are you, Ripa? Yeah, I'm good. We were doing the quality situation, but before I do that, uh, let me let me make a uh, little bit. Let me talk about uh, that. Give me one. Thank <laughs> you. 